toughest day? Oh, without doubt, the Bernberg mission. Um, because we took greater losses, it was the toughest day for our whole squadron. We lost more men. Uh, I think that's the one where I said that in, in the, the um, uh, diary, that uh, there are about, at any given time there are about 400 parachutes in the air, all raining down at, at once. It was it was just incredible. Well, the the the, the uh, pilot ahead of us um, had trouble with this. This guy named Edmondson had trouble with his PDI, and he was coming into the bomb run, and so he called the, the deputy lead behind him to come in and, and take his place. And just as he was slipping out and the other guy was slipping in was when this first wave came through at us. And it was impossible to, to sh shoot him safely because, shoot at him safely because uh, I, was, I, I would be as likely to hit the tail gunner of Edmondson's crew as I was to hit the German pilot. I remember literally seeing the, the rivets on the belly of the plane as he came through. While this was going on, um, the, the deputy lead slipped into the place that Edmondson had, was pulling out of, and um, he was hit at the root of his, his wing, uh, and the whole wing fell off. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, no one got out. And this was all happening. Uh, shards and things were hitting the, my turret, you know, parts parts of, of the plane. It was it could, couldn't have gotten closer to the action. <laughs> and of course, when the when the uh, aircraft got down actually to me and and was firing at me, and I could see the the little puffs of of uh, of um, exploding. Um, 20 millimeter cannon shells, like the one I had in my in my uh, par parachute bag. Well, by that time, I, I got marshaled into action. I mean, I you know I knew what had to be done and and uh, and did get some good bursts in. But probably uh, shot down one of the guys, but there was no proving it, and so it, I never got credit for it. <laughs>